Three. So, welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm just taking out uh, my BMW R1200C, uh, professionally known as Ambrosia, off to her MOT. And for those uh, international uh, viewers, an MOT in the UK is a roadworthiness certificate. Where a bike or a car, or I presume other machinery as well, if it's on the main roads, it needs to go for an annual check that it's roadworthy. And that applies to anything over three years old in England and Scotland and Wales. And I think Northern Ireland might be uh, four years. So I have booked her in for her MOT and we'll see how she goes. Nothing has changed since the last MOT, so I don't expect anything to go wrong. Basically what happens is if they check everything and they find something wrong, if it's simple enough, I think they might call and say, look, this is wrong, do you want us to fix it? And uh, usually they, you say yes, because what choice do you have? And they fix it and hopefully it passes. It's MOT and uh, you have now have uh, 12 months riding on the road until the next MOT, annual MOT comes around. So here we are on uh, July 2nd, 2004, heading out to my local town, the local garage where I have it booked. It's been an overcast day, it's been lovely the last few days. Last week was really, really hot. We were pushing 28s, 29s degrees uh, centigrade. And I thought today was going to be similar. But Ambrosia has a, a habit of bringing out the rain whenever I take her out. So she's very good at that. So I wouldn't be surprised if we have summer showers now that I've taken her out. Hello, what are you doing? I thought it was going to reverse onto the main road there. This is also a second test uh, ride out for the new DJI Action uh, 4 camera that I have bought. I have ditched the GoPro in its entirety. Uh, too much headaches. Couldn't trust it anymore. As lovely as it was, the footage from Domit, but uh, I'm sure a lot of people who have a GoPros know about the uh, audio issues. You don't know whether it's going to record or not, whether they have an external mic in there, the uh, media mod. Connectivity was a bit iffy. Sometimes you just say the battery's empty when it isn't. I've just put it in, or you got to switch the whole thing off and on again. So anyway, I, I I've had enough with the GoPro, and also to uh, address my long-standing audio issues, I've also shelled out for the DJI Mic 2, which is what I've got right now. And I've used the uh, Bluetooth connectivity from the mic, uh, which is right under my chin here, and uh, to the uh, DJI Action 4 camera. And I'm hoping that with the settings that I have now configured, hopefully correctly, that uh, this audio is as sweet as can be. I don't think I can get any better than this. I keep forgetting with these indicators on the cruiser, it's different from the GS. On the cruiser, oof, I've got uh, left and right in each of the, of the grips. No auto cancel, of course. Just got to remember to uh, cancel that. Keep checking on the X3, 360 X3, if it's still there. So 
So yeah, I've uh, used a lavalier mic that I've rooted around the head helmet and uh, and I've stuck it in with the uh, intercom mic in here and the, and the arm and the boom. So they're both tucked in together. So hopefully um, that's a, a neat solution and I've plugged it into the mic socket on the DJI mic. So I did a lot of uh, YouTube watching and a lot of people seem to be saying that this works very well for motorcycle vlogging provided you've got the uh, settings set up correctly which in uh, an initial vid ride out I didn't I just put it in out of the box on there and so after I got back and saw the footage I thought ah, okay I need to make sure I a, find out where these settings are it turned out to be on the action camera for itself and uh, so I adjusted the gains down to minus uh, 10, I think I've set it to. And I've also set the uh, background noise filter cut uh, button is on, uh, on here. And I've set it in the camera as well, I think, to make sure it's, it's always on. So from what I understand, those two settings should be it. I should be getting a really good audio through now. So fingers crossed when I get back to base and uh, check this footage out. I'm really pleased to get back at Ambrosia. I love this bike. Watching around country lanes like this is just wonderful. To make sure I'm okay with the time, but I'm not going to miss my appointment. There we go. Got 40 minutes to get there. Plenty. I had somebody make a comment on my last uh, cruiser video that uh, they wanted to see more of the whole bike, uh, which is a good point actually when I looked at the footage. As, uh, I never actually did a full walk around you know, of the bike, always shown clips and bits of it, trying to be creative, but I forgot to show the whole bike, so I will be doing that in a minute. Now that I can actually unclip the camera with ease, as they say, and not having to get a screwdriver out and unscrew the uh, the housing that we have with the old GoPro. Here we go. This is a, a lovely little gotcha lane, this one. Or a blind entry either end and you have to go through this house. So yeah, he said uh, it'd be nice to see the footage of the whole bike. And he was right. So I will do that. Find a nice little spot. Hopefully, if the MOT is successful and it's back on the road, I'll try and get more videos done. And I'm trying to think of some ideas of where to go. So I thought maybe a ride out to uh, Lumens, is it Lumens? The cafe down south of Alton Way, the A32. It should be a good biker cafe. So I'll ride out to there. And uh, ride out to other maybe other cafes and coffee locations. Choppers down Burbage Way in Hampshire, Wiltshire. That would be good. I 
took the GS to uh, the Iron Bull in Old Basing a few weeks ago. A little turn out there, it was nice to see. Again, lots of GSs and Harleys and it was a, a triumph of course. Drop-off time. Got to watch out around schools. Oh yeah, busy, busy. <laughs> trying to pull the brake in to activate the hill start that I have on the GS. No such luxuries on this. Nope. <laughs> trying to put my feet where the GS pegs are at the back. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I gotta get used to swapping bikes. <laughs> More than that. <laughs> Graveyard is the right place, but let's get some quick footage. <coughs> so this is the beauty of this. We're supposed to be able to just pinch this and lift it off, and there we go. So, ladies and gents. This is my BMW R. 1200C 1998 the James Bond bike there is no ABS there is no traction control there is bugger all on this the original before they came out with the other flavors of all the fancy technologies this is it And still 25 year old, 23,000 miles. That's all she's done. She's been nowhere. It's a school run, so there are going to be lots of cars going by. Yeah, the panniers are. Pretty scratched. Alrighty then. So let's head back on the road and get to the garage. This camera on the right way around. And there it is. Look at that. Straight on. Oh. Again, that was <laughs> quite satisfying. Is it on? Yes, it is. Oh. I used to have to get the... It used to be minutes of having to unscrew everything. Do the filming. Having to screw it all back on a gun, make sure it's pointing in the right place. Is the audio working? Does the battery think it's... Does the camera think the battery's full? There's all that sort of stuff. But this? No. Straight. Click, click. Magnetic. Straight on. Hopefully this audio is all sorted out. I'm hoping I'm going to be a, a very happy chappy. After a year and a half of, of vlogging, I might have actually finally landed 
on my perfect setup. Right, nobody coming. There's somebody coming. No, they're parked. Let's go. <laughs> Pegs again. Right, indicator. Don't forget to cancel it. You know, I've had this back 25 years. It's incredible how quickly I got used to the GS. Okay, everybody, um, if you spot behind me, I don't know whether it's in the frame or not, I just had a celebratory uh, Mackie D's breakfast, sausage and egg McMuffin, as uh, the bike has passed its MOT. No issues. Well, I say no issues, there was one minor note about the front brake or something. I'll look at that when I get back home. Just let's keep an eye on it. But otherwise, we're on the road again for another year. Only took about an hour or so, so I sat there and waited for it and changed the batteries on the cameras and made use of the time. So yes, we are on the road. So yeah, I've relocated the cameras of different places now. I'll put the action four on the left here and I'll put the 360 on the front now. Hanging out a bit. I might stretch it out a bit when I get to a uh, quieter roads. Don't want somebody clipping it and taking it off when I'm in town. now still much better than what it was. I don't expect it to totally eliminate the background noise, but I expect it to uh, reduce most of it. Squeaky front brake. I wonder if that's what they meant. Cancel indicator. out a bit more. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I miss riding this bike. The GS still frightens me a bit. I suppose over time I'll get better, but a few minutes back on the, the cruiser. I am at home. I mentioned that, that I've also changed from uh, my editing software from uh, Camtasia to uh, the free version of uh, DaVinci Resolve. I think I may have mentioned that in the past. But yeah, it's getting, uh, getting better and better at it. It's, uh, the more I do videos with it, uh, the more I push little boundaries here and there and explore it. And it's... Uh, so far, there's plenty, plenty I haven't explored with it. But whenever I think of something, I think, I oh, wonder if it does it. Go to good old YouTube and lo and behold, yes, yes it does. Some of the features are in uh, the paid version, but, uh, but so far I haven't actually come across something that I needed in the paid version. But anyway, that's... Uh, enjoying that little experience with this whole motor vlogging learning new software I'm also contemplating uh, selling the uh, X3 the three, Insta360 X3 and getting the X4 you know, why you may ask um, I like the idea of the uh, connectivity of the mic on there to the uh, intercom. That way I can record my audio onto the Action 4 through the DJI Mic 2 on my strap here. Lovely. Put my both my feet through clear air there, expecting to be the pegs where the GS's pegs are. Did that earlier. This one's zoom. <laughs> both legs right through thin air. These pegs are good. I don't know. Foot forward from where the GS's pegs are. So yeah, I'm in, uh, in the uh, AONB area of Ascending Natural Beauty, Natural Beauty, north of Andover, the North Wessex Downs area. For those who want to pinpoint where this countryside is, North Wessex Downs. When I say Wessex, I always remember West Westeros out of uh, Game of Thrones. Nobody come the other way, nobody come the other way. Otherwise I'm fiddly food. Ha, 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 ha. Right, cool. for wildlife. Child for head butting pheasants. I remember this. I think I went geocaching many years ago. On that back lane there, there's a loop. Something like 20 geocaches. Long 
long time ago. Hey, maybe I could do a ride out on doing some geocaching somewhere. I know it's a bit nerdy, but hey, any excuse to get out on the bike, I think. I don't know about you, because sometimes I get to the end of the drive and I don't know whether to turn left or right. So it's nice to have a, a target or a purpose. Say, so, right, I'm going to go and do that. Give the ride out a, a little purpose. I'm saying you have to have one, but it's nice to have one, I think. Where are we? Oh, okay. We will take a left. Oh, they're <laughs> holding the braking hard, expecting the uh, hill assist to kick in, like on the GS. There isn't one. It's incredible how easy I got used to that the hill start, the hill assist on the GS. I use it all the time now. if you guys have any uh, favorite features of your bikes they usually say you know it's a, maybe it's not the most known feature but you use it all the time you know, stick it in the comments it'd be interesting with me it's definitely the, the, the hill assist on the GS but an Ambrosia here is actually just not a feature as such it's just the sitting position the riding position on this this upright position is wonderful. Feet in front, just wonderful. That's why on the GSI, if you watch the other videos, I'll put a card to it there. I did the uh, handlebar risers up and back to try and get closer to this sort of position. It's still not like this, but it's closer and definitely worth doing on the GS for me. To me, is this sitting position? It is lovely. at the beginning this bike is not blessed with any uh, fancy electronics in the suspension or uh, braking or <laughs> stability a lot more organic shift there <laughs> I don't think it would have liked it assist. Nobody coming around the corner. Nobody going around the corner. Oh, big truck coming. 
over to the left because I've got the 360 sticking out. Pheasant headbutting territory. That's where it happened last time. So I speed up. have enjoyed this little ride with me and uh, getting Ambrosia through her MOT and I'm hoping now to get out of it more now, now she's road legal and uh, I hope you all uh, like the channel and what I'm doing please feel free to comment about anything subscribe if you feel like it and by all means uh, hit a like on this video smash that like button and uh, tinkle that bell to be alert to the next time I've got to post uh, a video. So meanwhile, drive safe, enjoy, enjoy this lovely weather, and I will catch you all on the next one. Take care.